Sava and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, just as promised, we're going to be talking all about overhydration. But before we get into the video, make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on my videos. Alright, let's get started. So if you haven't seen already, definitely make sure to check out my previous video, I'll link it up right here, about how much water you should drink per day. But today we're going to be talking about overhydration. So can you drink too much water? What are the symptoms? Like what happens if you do? I don't know. We're going to get into that today. So you guys have heard me talk about hydration a ton on my channel now. I can always link videos for you guys to check them out. But by now you should know what hydration is. So like I've said a million times, all the systems in your body need water to function. Well, function properly at least. So your body needs water to regulate temperature, prevent constipation, flush out any waste products, and perform all major bodily functions. Without it, it cannot do so. So I know most people are concerned with not drinking enough water, you know, when it's hot out and they're working out, they gotta make sure that they're hydrated, but overhydration is a thing and there can be some concerning effects. So there is something that is called water intoxication and this happens when you overhydrate. So your body does have salt and other electrolytes in it, and when they become too diluted, then this is where water intoxication will become a problem. So hyponatremia is a condition that happens when the salt levels in your body become dangerously low. And that's going to be the main concern here when we're talking about overhydration. If your electrolytes drop too low too quickly, this can be fatal even though it is rare. It does happen. I know I'm sure you guys have seen or heard about the story before with the, you know, kind of radio competition of drinking all this water to win, I think, an Xbox or something like that. And there was a woman who had died from this. So even though, like I said, it's rare, it can happen. So now let's get into the different types of overhydration. There are two types that I'm going to talk about today. Number one is increased water intake. So this is when you're drinking more water than your kidneys are able to remove in your urine. Now this causes too much water to actually collect in your bloodstream, so that's not good. Now number two is retaining water. Now this happens when your body just can't properly get rid of the water. Now your body can be retaining water from a couple different medical conditions, but regardless, it's not good. Now there should be a healthy balance between water and sodium in your blood. Now these two things are going to affect that balance and then that's when things get dangerous. Now I know I've already mentioned my other video but that's going to be really helpful here. If you haven't watched it already I definitely recommend that you would because the amount of water that every individual needs is really important here to make sure you're not overhydrating. So you know for instance I dive into male or female or your activity level or your environment or where you live and how all these different things kind of affect the amount of liquids and hydration that every individual needs because not everybody is the same. I've also talked about, you know, testing your hydration in previous videos and an easy way to do that is by your urine color. So, you know, the paler it is, generally the more hydrated you are and the more yellow it is, generally you need to get some more fluids in you. Now, this the reason I'm saying generally is because this can change, you know, from medications that you have um, or if you're like a child, this doesn't really apply to you, but that's just a nice general rule. Now, there are certain conditions and medicines and drugs, if you will, that are going to cause water retention, like I had mentioned before. So all that means is that your body is going to be holding on to more of these fluids, so that's where you have to be careful. So that would be like congestive heart failure or liver disease, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or kidney disease, uncontrolled diabetes, um, schizophrenia, MDMA or ecstasy, um, antipsychotic drugs, or of course diuretics. So there are symptoms of overhydration, even though they might be really hard to detect in the beginning, they do get worse as time goes on. So you might notice some nausea, vomiting, headache, or some, you know, confusion and things like that in the beginning. Now, if this goes untreated and the sodium levels, you know, become dangerously low, like I had mentioned before, then your symptoms can get worse. Now you might have some muscle spasms, weakness, or cramps. Seizures, unconsciousness, and even a coma. I know that sounds crazy, but it does happen. 
So treatments are going to vary depending on, you know, why this is happening, if you have any sort of medical condition, if you're just taking in too much water, um, a certain medication you might be on, it's all different. But you can be asked to, you know, just cut black, black, cut back your fluid intake. You can take a diuretic to increase the amount of urine that you're going to be producing. You can treat the condition that could be causing that overhydration or stop any medications that might be a result that is causing this issue. Or in severe cases, you might have to replace the sodium. So I know, for example, a doctor did come out like with that woman I talked about earlier with that radio competition of who can drink like the most water or something like that to win like an xbox so they did say it sounds crazy but her just taking in and like just consuming salt in that moment as an emergency would have most likely saved her life so i think the main thing to note here is like i always say just listen to your body you know get your routine checkups definitely check in on your hydration check your urine color things like that to just check your status a little bit right at home um, definitely watch my other video and figure out how much water you should be drinking and definitely keep in mind you know when you're doing these other activities or when you're sweating or if you're thirsty or simple things like that, if you're outside, if you're in the heat, definitely make sure to stay hydrated. Always keep something with you, whether it's in the car, in your bag, whatever it is. Just try and stay hydrated, but don't overdo it. Really, it's really just important to listen to your body. But that is all I have for this video today, you guys. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something new. If you did like it, make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss none of my videos. And share, share, share this video would really help me a lot. And as always, if you want to get my exclusive nutrition tips, healthy food recommendations, and delicious recipes right to your inbox, then make sure to head over to my description box, click the link, and join the fam. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.